Okay guys, today I am attempting a very intimidating challenge for myself and that is reupholstering this chair that I'm sitting in. Um, I actually found this on the side of the road when my husband and I were out for a walk one day and it's just a little banged up and the fabric is kind of gross. I've never really upholstered anything like this. Let me show you the fabric that I have. It's this brown linen. It's like a brown and white stripe. Um, it's really beautiful. It's really thick and feels like great quality. So be perfect for this. And this chair has seen better days. It's a little beat up here. You can see the cane has some, um, it's like scratched and broken in some parts coming off there. And the fabric itself is like pretty gross. Obviously I cleaned it, but you can see there's lots of stains that didn't come out. So I don't want to redo the fabric on it. So my plan is to remove the tufting and just do a flat panel on the back. I don't really want to keep that same style. Uh, also has this panel of fabric in the back and it kind of wraps around on the sides too. So I need to call my mom and ask her for her guidance because she's really good at projects like this. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, um, I have the air running, so please ignore the sound of the air conditioner, but I'm just gonna start uh, with trying to take off this top area here. And let's see, I have, I have a few different tools, pliers, needle nose pliers, um, another set of pliers, some flathead screwdrivers to get out any staples because there's staples underneath. So this isn't really a tutorial per se, but more of a DIY diary, I guess, because I don't really know what I'm doing, so <laughs> wish me luck, okay. update I got all the staples out and wow <laughs> there was so many freaking staples so I got all this taken out and I even took off the little front piece that was down here I need to move on to the bottom part now I'm hoping to save this this piece so I can reuse that Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for. So I'm gonna use this as a guide to cut the fabric. Obviously, I'll probably cut it a little bit bigger just so I have excess. Okay, change of plans. I am first going to see if I can kind of touch up some of the wood. So I don't know if you can see, like here, it's more down here, it's pretty bad. So I'm gonna just try and touch some of that up with some stain and then I have some wood glue so maybe I can kind of glue some of these pieces back down. finished and I think it looks much better just a quick fix it's more of a visual fix but it did work so okay so now I'm gonna move on to cutting the fabric and I'm pretty nervous so wish me luck I have enough fabric that if I mess up I can do another piece but 
I really hope that doesn't happen. But uh, just gotta do it. It's just gotta do it. Just gotta do it. Okay, so I finished up the bottom seat yesterday and I need to get some glue to sort of tack this down on both sides, but I think it looks pretty good. Let me show you the back. I mean, not bad, not bad. So now I need to do this back portion and then get the foam. I have to go to the store and get some foam and do the front side as well. So let's continue on and see how it goes. I'm gonna use the previous fabric as a guide for cutting. I would recommend saving all of this stuff and really paying attention to how everything was put on so you have an idea of what to do um, for when you're putting it together because that's how I remember, knew how to do this fold part was because that's how they did it on the chair before. So I'm gonna use this and then I'll put this on the back piece. So I went to cut out this piece yesterday for the back and quickly realized that I probably need to get some stuff in the store. So I bought liquid stitch and I'm gonna use that for the front corners to sort of tack those down. And then I got this product called Fray Check and it's supposed to help keep the fabric from fraying and this is definitely fraying. So I wanted to put that on this before I started stapling it down. Um, the lady at the store told me that this smells terrible, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this outside and let that dry for a little bit. Oh, and then I also got foam. I got a yard of this foam. I wanted to get an inch thick, but they didn't have any, so I just got half an inch, and I'm gonna double it up to make it thicker. So hopefully that works. We will see and figure it out as we go. Sorry, Nate's in the kitchen cooking, so that's what all the noise is, but... Let's do that. Okay, so I just have that drying, and while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and tack down this front flap so it's flush. So I'm gonna use the liquid stitch for that.
So I'm at my mom's house because I need her help with sewing. What did you call it, mom? The welt? So we're trying to reuse everything that we can. By the way, say hi, mom. Hello. This is my mother. <laughs> so yeah, trying to reuse this stuff that was on there before. Okay, I'm gonna try to find the seam. Yeah, the seam ripper would be better. Should I go see if you have any? Oh yeah, baby. Seam ripper for the win. Yeah, hopefully. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this piece as a guide so I know how long to cut. And this is what was holding that um, welting, I guess is what we're calling it, the double welt. So mm -hmm. I need to cut it that thick. Okay, so we're folding over, so we're doing a double welt, and we're taking the first little rope piece and folding that under and stitching that in, and then we'll roll in the second piece. Okay, so that looks good. You can't even see the thread, hardly. Okay, so like I said, we just threaded that first piece through. We accidentally ripped one. That was my fault. That's okay. So, what I'm gonna do is they had it rolled in. Yeah, Remember? they did. And then over. And then they sewed down the middle. So that's about right. Perfect. I'm not bad for a bunch of amateurs. <laughs> So, okay, so you're rolling it and under and rolling it and rolling it and then stay and then rolling, rolling, rolling. stitching over top over the top of it. Yeah, down the center. All right, I am back home now after spending the weekend at my mom's house and we are continuing the project. Um, so what I need to do today is cut a piece of fabric that will fit over the back piece and put these in there and then put on that piece of welting that we did and we should be done. So that will be exciting. Something else that I'm going to do is just glue these pieces together so they don't slide around when I'm trying to put it on. So I'm going to use liquid stitch again and glue these together. So I want to be able to wrap the fabric around this piece so I need to cut enough excess. and now I'm taking this top piece and I'm going to just fold under the edge here and place that right on top the edge and staple that down.
Okay, sorry, my camera died, but I got the piping stapled on and I sort of finished it off right here by folding it under and then stapling this edge there. And now I'm going in, cause you can still see the staples here, but I just kind of tacked in some glue and I'm sort of squishing this together and that will hide the staples. And then should complete the look. All right, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a thumbs up if you liked it. My recommendations would be to maybe just pay the professionals if you can afford it and save yourself the backache because it was quite the process and it definitely took some time um, to dedicate to this project. So if you don't have time and you have the financial resources to spend the money on it, then I would definitely do that. Otherwise, it was still a fun project to do, and I think I picked up a new skill along the way, maybe. Who knows, maybe I'll get crazy and find some more furniture on the road. One last thing is please leave a comment below and let me know if you think I should add this front piece. I don't think it absolutely needs it, but I do think it helps to finish off that front edge there. So, still debating if I should tack that on or not. So, let me know down below. That's it. Thank you for watching and we'll just do the final reveal here.